If you've never tried painting with a palette knife before and you'd like to experience it vicariously through me, that's what we're about to do. I was always curious to try it, never actually did it. It's happening right now. I'll be painting a pretty little cardinal with acrylic paint and I don't know how much detail I'll be able to put in. I'm gonna try to make it as nice as I can. It's my first time. I'm gonna do this vlog style and I'll give you my thoughts at the very end and kind of go through all the mistakes that I made so that you don't have to. Let's do this. I'll be using a nice thick Bristol paper, 270 GSM, 11 by 17. It's my favorite affordable paper for acrylic paint. With or without gesso, it works really well. I have a whole bunch of different palette knives in here. The first thing I'm noticing is that I need a lot more paint than usual. Like it takes a lot of like thick layer to be able to move the paint and kind of blend it together. So I need maybe three times the amount I would normally mix. So that's something to keep in mind and that I'm surprised about. Also blending is a little tricky. Now I'm keeping the background. I wanted to keep it blurry so that the focus is on the bird itself and not on the background. So. It doesn't give a smooth gradient, obviously. I guess for it to be a little smoother, I would have to put a lot more white and kind of like in big swoops, blend it more. I'm happy with this section up here. This is a little bit too messy for me, but I know that the tree trunk's gonna go there and the bird's gonna go here, so I'm not too bothered about this. Well, maybe this section could be a bit smoother. Let's see. So I'm putting a bit of white, well, quite a bit of white. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I could kind of smooth this out. If you work it like this, it, it kind of works, but with acrylic paint, you have a very limited amount of time. Where there's no blending here, it's gonna be covered by the bird and the tree. So let's work with this. The fact that acrylic paint dries super fast, I feel is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Sometimes you want it to stay wet so that it's workable and you can keep blending. And sometimes you want the background to be dried so that you could put another layer on top. One thing that I would like to recommend, which work really well, is this open medium, open acrylic medium matte by Golden. This is amazing. You add that to any regular acrylic paint and it's really going to extend the drying time of the paint like at least three times, if not a lot more, depending on how much you put. So if you want just a little bit of extension for the drying time, don't put too much because it's gonna stay wet for a couple hours if you put too much. But it's a great, great tool, especially for this technique. I feel like sometimes it would be needed. Let's keep going.
I'm about to start painting the bird and I feel like that's where everything should be coming together. I hope it looks nice. I already have a few thoughts on things that I could have done differently to make it a little bit better. I'm gonna get into it once I'm done with the bird. Side note slash quick tip, I'm using a glass cutting board on its reversed uh, side. So there's a rough side for cutting vegetables and stuff and the other side is super slick. It's my first time using a glass paint palette. I really like it but the scraper is really mandatory to clean it once you're done with it but overall I like it. First impressions, it takes a lot of paint, like a whole bunch of paint because of the thick layers. That's something to keep in mind. It's really hard to not overwork the painting as in to keep going over and over and over. And when I overwork the painting, it looks super messy and it's kind of distracting to the eye to have to, or to keep a focus on the painting. That's the thing that I feel like I have to work the most on to not overwork the painting, maybe to have planes of color that are more uniform. So especially in the background, I would say in an ideal world, I think I would combine uh, the palette knife technique with a brush technique. So the first layer of the background, I would probably do a gradient that's very smooth and blended and have that palette knife overlaid on top. Like the bird with the palette knife with a smoother background, I feel would pop a lot more than having all that texture that is very similar all through the painting. Actually, you know what? Through the magic of editing, let me rework the background to make it super smooth just to see the difference in the comparison. Let's check it out now exactly what I thought. I feel like a smoother background anchors your eye and gives a focus to the painting a lot more than having that texture everywhere. Good to know. And one other thing that I found hard was to have my paint dry on me super fast when I wasn't done blending the colors together or the opposite, having the paint wet on my canvas and having to put more on top. It was kind of a give and take. On that note, if you want to know how to keep your paint palette wet with acrylic, which dries super fast, go watch this video. I have really good tips in there. Let me know what you think of my bird and I'll see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.